Welcome into the stream right on time as the hour rolls over. Uh, daintily, with, with, with uh, grace, so much grace, like a swan. A swan's grace. It did a swan dive into the hour. Uh, let's just go to continue. I trust. I trust the autosave. I trust the autosave to steer me right. Uh, I'd like to point out something. Now, I've had a few issues with this game in terms of uh, making progress, knowing what to do, where to go. You guys may have noticed. Uh, and, and while I'm happy to cop to that, I'm happy to be the guy who says, you know what, sometimes me. This time, mostly not. Although, once you get down to the bottom of it, it's still me. Uh, where I am right now, and, and this has been mentioned before, but where I am right now is exactly where mind place notifications show up, profiling notifications show up, uh, new words for the Allen segments show up to, to change the, uh, the scene. And I don't see them because I'm covering them with my body. So, uh, if I decide that I'm going to do Final Draft as a full stream playthrough later on in our lives, I'm not going to be down here. Although at that point it's going to be kind of moot, but I won't be down here. This is the wrong place to be. Uh, not just that, it's straight up broken a few... Uh oh, what's, what's broken? The Swan? Genshin and Honkai are my new dailies. Hoyo caught me in their trap. You held on for a while. You know, there, there's... There's something to be said about your resilience, even if you did eventually cave. Not just that, it's straight up... Yeah, the game has, yeah. <clears throat> only, well, only like a big... A big problem. Uh, did you fix the broken mine palace entries? No. And, and here's the issue with that. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving it up to two possibilities here. Now, there is a distinct possibility that, that these are glitched. Um, I know for a fact... Because on my, my private playthrough, this didn't happen. At least not to this degree. I know for a fact that the Anderson Brothers things, these are not glitched. I mean, they kind of are. So we missed dialogue with Rose. And by missed, I mean the game ripped the, the option from my cold, dead fingers without even asking. And because we didn't talk to her, we didn't get the clues that would open these specific things up. And so... For later, will be forever. We'll never get to see these. Uh, and, and I believe the same thing with um, the story. Also, there, there are just clues. Because sometimes the game doesn't just lead you to the clues. You have to find them. And they don't affect story progress at all. So, unfortunately, uh, unless I, 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 I may even be past the point where I can find whatever these clues are. But, you know, it'll be like Dark Presence, read a manuscript. So that suggests that I've missed a manuscript uh, on this playthrough. I've probably missed a few of them, right? Talk to someone. So, you know, if you hover over these, it shows you how many are missing. And I think, you know, just on this playthrough, we're kind of, we're kind of hooped uh, for, for some of these. Not all of them, but some of them. Now, oh, okay, these are, these are doable. Uh... I need to know what information I can still trust. Right. Well, we probably should have done this while we were still at the police station. Meow! <laughs> so, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Oops. All right, well, let's, let's, uh... Jeez, okay. Let me go through everything and make sure that we're, uh, we don't have anything else welling up like a well... Uh, what did this one say? Whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. So that would go under... Uh... Hmm. Cult ritual? Yeah. Okay. So we got that taken care of. Let's do some profiling on Tor Anderson. Meow! Beef Wellington? You ended after meeting Scratch at the police station, right? I forgot which streams I fell asleep during. That was the one, yeah. We we uh, we fought Scratch. We regained equilibrium at the at the station. Left before they were done talking, apparently, and gallivanted uh, around Watery in the middle of the night, and and now Cauldron Lake. We're we're in the middle of the rental cabins area, for fun, mostly for fun. Casey smizes so hard in his headshot. <laughs> 
<laughs> he really does. Look at this guy, man. Holy shit. Tyra Banks would lose it. She would. Lose her mind. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. That's good, at least. He wasn't lying. Very well, then. So what new information can we take away from this? Uh... Was that it? Okay. I think I have to, uh... I think I have to talk to the, the, the Politios. But before we do that, we have a, uh, we have a, a, a rental cabin area. And this, this cult stash here. So, uh, I, I guess it's time to, to gallivant a little bit more. In the middle of the night. Walking in our sleep. Can't be opened on this side. And it can't be opened on this side. And I'm disappointed that the cult of the tree isn't led by a lamb. I mean, there's a whole other game for that, though, you know? Whole other game accomplishes that for you. And they just came out with a sex update, you know? If that's, uh, if that's your cup of tea. Which I suspect it might be. Aha! Back door. That's what she said. Is there anything in the bathroom? Just a handsome boy. A sex update. Cult of the Lamb uh, got the Sins of the Flesh update. There's another lunchbox. Hey, I'll take a lunchbox. Take a lunchbox for the road. Wait, what did that thing say? Cult sex, cult sex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not thrilled with the update because it's more work. Uh, his hair was longer than I remembered, blowing gently in the cool night breeze. I put my hand to his cheek to confirm that he was indeed real. And he was, he was real, feeling his handsome beard, wild but neatly trimmed, beneath my fingers proved it. You're back, I breathed. Yes, I'm back. I wasn't cold any longer. It's very good, uh, fan fiction by Rose. By the way, uh, I wanted to put some stuff out there. I learned a few things. So, what I learned um, was that Rose has been getting messages from Alan. This is part of the dialogue that we missed. She's been getting messages from Alan, quote-unquote Alan, probably Scratch, to do things. You know, to leave things places, talk to certain people, how to kill Taken, you know, all that fun stuff. And one of the things that he told her to do was take away Cynthia's lamp. And taking away Cynthia's lamp allowed the Dark Presence to get to Cynthia. And getting to Cynthia is what allowed taken Cynthia to get to Tor and cause the third overlap incident. Go for the drawers. Hey, Flupington, welcome. Welcome to the stream. There are no drawers. Not in Bright Falls. Look at this. I'll never get to any of these Bibles or vibrators ever again. <laughs> Okay. Friendly, friendly. Ooh, what's that? Friendly place out here. I think this might be shotgun weather, you know? I feel like this is more of a... Is this a Pacific Northwest thing to just leave your rusted old clunker out in the, the back of your business? Where were those? Oh, okay, there's paint. Six... Two. Uh, oh! Alright. Got a key. That's good. We like keys around here. Keys make the heart grow fonder. It's also an Albertan country thing. Looks outside. <laughs> okay, that takes us back. We don't want to go back just yet. We're not done here. We have business. 
business time. Okay, that doesn't open that door. Good to know. Another one of those rhymes. Oh, all these properties are up for foreclosure and we have to do a rhyme. All right. Uh, this puzzle is kind of dumb. I've got a kind of bum. I've done it. I've, I've rhymed. Uh, new episode today, but it's no manga chapter of, of what? One Piece? Uh, it's also an Albertan... Okay, I read that part. Uh, also noticed I stopped fighting the Seuss allegations. I give up. <laughs> People still calling you Seuss? Did Floof give you a Seuss? The criminality of it all. The fuck? Someone just gifted me a sub for a channel I don't know the name of. Wow, don't you have to have been there at one point for that to work? Okay, our hero, courageous and true, stalked by the monster, hatching through. The clever crows caw their warning and keep an eye on the battle forming. When the fight is done and over, the hero and the crows reap the rewards left for her. Okay, so monster on egg. Crows be looking. Reap the rewards. That sounds like jewelry. Hero doll? That's hey. it. That is what's up. Thank you very much. Where's my reward? Reward? It's your mind. Oh, that's not a reward. Oh, he's so fast. He's so fast and angry. She wasn't ready. I'm not ready. Crying out loud. I say it was shotgun weather. Really still? Man, these guys are expensive. That guy came out swinging. He did. He caught me. Right in the mooth. Alright, what do we have in here? Oh no, my inventory is full. Again. <laughs> what are the odds? You know what? I'm gonna just throw away all this propane. Don't care for it. Another charm. Yep, I'm charmed to not have to deal with propane. Hello. Hi there, little friend. So speaking of private playthroughs, I got all the deer heads in my private playthrough. And, uh, you know. You want to know what the reward is? The reward is a room full of supplies. That, that's literally it. There's no extra dialogue. Like, you go back to the, uh, to the Elderwood Lodge, and you see a deer in the lodge leading you to a room in the, the, the hallway of, of bedchambers that was previously locked. And then you can open it, and inside is just a shitload of supplies. I got head from deer? Okay, furry. <laughs> if I were taken, I fear I'd say weirdly sexual things while doing murdering. I don't think you'd have a choice. I think you'd have to, like, say cryptic things from the manuscript, whatever that happens to be. Is your email hacker-proof? To many people, hackers are the stuff of Hollywood movies and TV shows, dark criminals committing cyber crimes in action movies. But to many people around the world, hackers are a very real threat. Cybercrime experts warn that phishing attempts are on the rise and show little sign of stopping. What is phishing, you may be asking yourself? Well, phishing is when someone poses as a fake email address in order to trick the recipient into sharing their personal information. Information which could then be used to access bank accounts or other personal databases. Even the most professional-looking emails or text messages can be faked, experts warn. So people are encouraged to always act with caution when sharing information on the net. All it takes is one mistake, and your information could be out there forever. You know, don't don't tell the boomers of uh, of Bright Falls that your information's out there forever, regardless. But okay, my taken phrase would probably be probably be gussy jokes. Uh, gone fishing, the very same bestie that was slandered by hit game Genshin Impact. Uh oh. Tell besties I'm sorry. Genshin Genshin Impact hates them. I'm a little distracted on Discord call with the bestie. Oh man. That is, that is a, a, a portent of ruin, if you ask me. Bright Falls Bookstore Raffle Bonanza. Anyone looking for a gift for the reader in their life would do well to visit Bright Falls Bookstore this weekend. In an effort to clear out the stockroom, Bright Falls Bookstore is raffling off hundreds of old books and collections, including many signed books and items considered collector's items. They're basically getting rid of all the Alex Casey books. 
All proceeds will go towards renovating the bookstore and charitable donations to student literacy programs. Tickets for the raffle will be on sale from 9 a.m. Mountain <laughs> until Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern the following day. Withdrawing taking place Monday. Moanring. Good, good. How come there's a typo in the blurb, but there's not a typo on the page? Huh? 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 Hmm? Percola. Eviction notice, effective immediately. The Federal Bureau of Control, they said the word, has designated this area to be vacated as a matter of public health and safety. Failure to comply with this order is a federal crime and will result in swift and forceful action per code 0157-DE. Your compliance is appreciated and not up for negotiation. Editors get paid too much. They do. <laughs> I'm, I'm a reader in my life. To which, if you keep pausing the chat because you're not scrolling one more time, I'm going to shit all over your favorite e-girl. Damn, that's, that's going to be a lot of them, isn't it? There's a lot of e-girls on the platform. On the plate form. Ducky. Got a rubber ducky. They're everywhere. Okay. Can I, uh... Yeah. What did that accomplish? <laughs> Nothing? You just hurt my shoulder? All right, we just dislocated our shoulder for the culture. That's good. That's good times. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, you know, a little bit of extra inventory space never hurt anybody. <laughs> no, not Booby Girl 47. She's the, the light beneath my wings. Losing my voice a little bit. Oh, that was the... Okay, that was the clue for the key. I guess it's probably better that way. That would have just confused me more. Astarion. The big comfy couch theme song is very stuck in my head right now, and I don't know why. I mean, it's a good theme song. What can you do? What can you do when a theme song is on point? I didn't forget about that stash. No, sir, I didn't. There we go. And inside is a little bit of uh, rifle ammo, some rockets, and a flashbang. Perfect. That's, that's just right. That's just about right. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get back to the sheriff station and get all this ugliness behind us. What's this? Some weird animal tried to break into our clubhouse. It was scary. Max hit it off a big... Max hit it off a big stick. Max hit it with a big stick. I guess I have to read the notes to know what, the, what they're actually trying to say. And it ran away. I think it was a squirrel before. I hear taken. Come on now, you're gonna let me finish reading though, right? Shut up. <laughs> I want to read. I want to know what they're saying. Okay. Uh, Max found candy wrappers in the woods. There were some big poops there. It wasn't the squirrel. Max has gone missing. Oh god, that's really sad. Beware the wicked witch. Here are the rules. One person is the wicked witch. Everyone else has to run and hide. When the witch says, beware me, everyone has to change places. If you go to someone else's hiding place, you can tag them to kill them. Don't get tagged and killed. If the Wicked Witch finds you, you're dead. If you find the witch's lair, she is caught. Burn the witch. Wow, they're really, uh... They're really trying. Okay, where am I right now? So I, I leave this place and make a hard left, and that's how I get out. Because I, I don't want to throw any more ammunition into people. Al although that's actually a lie. Hang on a second. I'd like to throw some ammunition into people once. Just a different kind of ammunition. Let someone try me. Are you trying me? Is that the sound of trying? Look, you tried. That's, that's you know, that's something, at least. Um, there was a note over here before, wasn't there? Aha! More reading. Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Don't worry, I took, I took care of him. He's gone now. Sunday, an idyllic 
Idyll idyll uh, yeah, idyllic. An idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left. What is going on at these rental cabins? People, there must be a gas leak or something. The incident left three people injured with this spelling, one of which has been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Witnesses to the crime were visibly shaken, one of whom stated, One minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows. The next we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kurt Mill. Hey, Jazz, welcome. Welcome to the stream right now. Right this moment, I insist. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said, It's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly my dog starts barking his head off, and this psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. Don't think I'll ever feel safe in that forest again. In, in the forest. A representative from the rental cabins, who chose to remain anonymous, wanted to remind customers, if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins later this summer, please get in touch with us, as we may need to rejigger some of the reservations based on the state of the cabin that you have rented with us. The representative went on to further remind future and potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found in their company's brochures and on the website, which is real nice, state-of-the-art. My nephew made it, and he's a real computer whiz. <laughs> I love Bright Falls. Jigger. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. CB, as his owners refer to him, had been missing for three days, and Mrs. Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call, I couldn't believe my ears, she said. I must have asked, am I dreaming? At least seven or eight times. It was actually nine times, confirmed Ranger Stevenson, the man responsible for finding the wayward canine. It's rare that you get to give those kinds of calls, and I feel real grateful to have had the opportunity. What with all the predators out there? Usually you're telling folks that you found their dogs dead, their pets eaten, you know, and so it felt... Real good to give some good news. Even if Coffee Bean is in kind of rough shape, the fur will grow back. Sure, but, well, I suppose that's all I should say about that. Ooh, spooky. Hey, Frizzle, welcome. Welcome to the Strem. Everyone's early. Kind of hate that I have successfully managed to get just about every computer brought to me running. You, you make sure you hack the legs off before you give them back, though, right? Does a hike a day keep depression away? <laughs> no! It might be bright sunny july but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead that's right in the grand scheme of life those dead depressing days are just around the corner have you been taking your vitamin d probably not but for all of you thinking there's got to be another way there's good news hiking has been proven to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health so get on out there and do it don't just just don't forget a flashlight in case it gets dark you know you can, also a pistol Bright Falls, own, Bright Falls' own virtual baking champ. Little Sally Upton's whole family erupted into cheers when she won the big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer? Tennis? <laughs> no. In this brave new world that we live in, her family was cheering her on as she won a match in a game that exists only on the information superhighway. Okay, a little passive-aggressive. Well, uh, sound, sounds a little salty. A little salty McJealous over here. Uh, old media. The game in question was Mega Baking Star, in which players compete to make the tastiest treats and sweetest eats for their virtual judges online. Bright Falls congratulates Sally on her big win, but she should probably go outside or something. You know? Like a regular kid. I don't think, I don't think uh, getting a really high score in Tetris is going to impress anybody, honestly. She should touch grass, exactly. Okay. I will find my way to this goddamn parking lot if it's the last thing I do. You'd watch someone play a video game? Who would do that? A loser. A loser palooza. Why am I having such a hard time? The answer is because it's dark, but. The fuck? Oh god, I'm lost. I'm lost in the woods because I can't see through a fence. Wasn't there a hole in the fence that I could crawl through? Anyone? Please. This is, this is what it is, huh? Okay, let's look real carefully. We're going to take the bigger path down. It seems to be what, what my lord and savior had planned. 
We observe the streamer <laughs> having night blindness. It's true. Oh, man, is it true. Okay. We're on track now, though. After checking the map eight times, I now know where I am. Bony leg path is the path for pale. I need neon signs everywhere I go. Let's head back to Bright Falls and, and, and get, a, get a move on. Why don't we? Yeah, do more fire damage. How do you get to judge eating baked goods? I want in on that. It is an awesome racket, right? Being a food judge in general. I guess you just, like, fake it until you make it. And then you can tell people anything. You know? Like, this, this uh, bacon-wrapped filet mignon was delicious, but I find the lack of fondant to be a little bit disappointing. Six out of ten. All right, let's get back to the sheriff's station. S -s station. I told her about the Genshin's transgressions, and, and she goes, how dare they have a character named Amber and them not be awesome. Agreed. I want to be a cat show judge and just flip cats around for hours. <laughs> Would you do the thing where you, like, cock them and fire them like a machine gun? I thought the water was a bit dry. Yeah, exactly. They knew what was going to happen. They had to nerf Amber on launch. All right, who, who's, who has words? You have words. Talk to me. Turn the flashlight off. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Progress. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item. Maybe even an object of power. Jargon. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Um... Fischl, I think, is a better bow user than, than Amber. Right? I don't know if that's official. Okay. Uh, we, have, uh, we, have, we have stuff. We got tings. Bullets penetrate the enemy's darkness shields. F yes. Aiming through the scope, Saga could see the flickering darkness that protected the Taken. Saw it waver and jerk. Saw a shifting opening in it. There, she fired, sending the bullet through to find its way home. Okay, perfect. So now our bullets penetrate the darkness shields with, with, with the rifle specifically. We can ignore that whole oh, flashlight majugalee, which is pretty, pretty fantastic. All right, Wake and the Clicker. Estevez, the FBC agent identified, or she identified the clicker. <laughs> there you go. The Clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Oh no, don't Tony shoot through my darkness. Stuff. Maybe he can help. Well, let's ask Tor once more what he knows about rescuing Wake. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Ooh. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something else. All right, that's the start, I guess. We might actually get Wake out of this thing. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I don't think Saga is artistic, aside from, like, having bad jokes. But she is a seer. She's an Anderson, which means that she's not beholden to a lot of the bullshit. I've got it now. Tying everyone down. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for good. So we need Wake I've to fix the I've got a story, plan. Right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. 
Since he's not I'm writing not it. out the paperwork for this one. He's not getting himself out. to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. No, we got this, Frizzle. You sure you have it all figured out? This is the beginning of the end of the... Oh, hey, we're doing it, guys. We, we're doing it. It's exciting. I'm finally at the end of a game. Who would have thought? Who could have guessed? How did we get here? Holy shit. <laughs> to travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Let's continue. Let's do it. I have no other uh, uh, occupations. Fuck watery. We're ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Sure. All right, let's go. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch, we'll try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there... I don't know if we want Casey to come. The Dark Presence did something to him. He's like a sleeper agent now. Sleeper agent Casey. I'm not used to games being like, hey, this is the end game. Usually they're just like, hey, point of no return. I mean, that's basically what happened here, but yeah. Same, same energy. Way to get that lighter it's like Shadow the Hedgehog oh, I got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? Sorry. Uh, if it turns out that Casey dies, I feel like it's not going to be that big of a blow since he's died like three or four times already throughout the course of this story. Mind you, it was on Alan's side of things, but still. Uh, can the clicker change him being a sleeper agent? Then he wouldn't be such a danger. That's a good point. I'll make some calls on the way. Let's see if they can Just think that far ahead. Lake. Yeah, I don't want that either. All right, are, are we sure? We have nothing else to say. All right, let's take the car to Cauldron Lake. For real this time. We were just there. Futzing around. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Oh, what? Yeah. The tour bus is already loaded. No! And we said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road. Just like the old times, Holy baby. fuck. You saw this coming, huh? They're blessing us with another musical number. Oh my god. I need a song about Alan Wake. About bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness. Bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. Yeah, someone should tell Alan that. They still got it. 13 years. 13 years and this motherfucker has just been writing himself in circles. What a dork. What an absolute candy ass dork. Let's go to Cauldron Lake. Is Tor already drunk? <laughs> Dude, he's the pre-gaming whiz. He takes a pre-gaming whiz. Ooh. First person this time. Pick up, pick up. David. David, please pick up. David. 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 It's me. They were Where curious, you Mimi. Stop. For once, you need to listen. It's a good point, you Dad. me. You took my daughter away from me, then you let her... She's dead because of you. Uh-oh. And I don't ever want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. David! Yowzers. Jesus Christ. It's getting worse. It's spreading. Huh? It's certainly not localized to Bright time. Falls. Allegedly. I have to wonder now how often she's been calling him, thinking that she's having these like regular spousal parental conversations. You know? All right, get to the lake shore. Can I get to the lake shore? I'm not lake shore. Ha 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 ha. Alan Wake? Sure. Okay, I'm, I'm going. Let's turn the... <laughs> turn the flashlight on. What, what is that sound? Is that a helicopter? We're incoming with the lights, Anderson. Where do you oh, want them? Fuck Set them yeah. up on the shore. We need to be ready if Scratch shows up. We'll be ready. That's Train them on out. me. I'm getting attacked a lot already. 
They're already gurgling all over me. Listen to it. Listen to it over there. That must be torn out in. Having itself a little golem at my expense. Kiddo! We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! Fuck yeah, Odin! Go, Grunkle! I'm driving with one hand! That, what's the other hand doing? The shore. Is it making a peace sign? Is the song ready? Oh, tree! Tree! What tree? There's no tree in the song! Who the fuck puts a tree in the middle of the road? I love them. On a road. Drive carefully, Grandpa. Pedal to the metal, bro! Metal to the pedal! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I don't have to say anything. I'll just let them do it. Very they can they can cover commentary. They can cover it from here. Oh, that's phenomenal. Never has my way been so clear. I, I appreciate it. You know, as as a you know, as a, a consummate enjoyer of the arts. New streamers Odin and Tor. <laughs> You remember when uh, Team Four Star was really popular, and they had like the voice of Vegeta and the voice of Nappa do like let's plays and stuff together? Wasn't that something? Hey guys. Oh, I'm heading towards a dead end. I just walked right into their lives. I didn't want that. Don't mind me. Uh oh. This might actually be a problem. I think I might actually have to take them out. Oh my god. Stop! Why? Why is everyone so hardy? No, I'm not lost, Frizzles. Yeah, that's, it's not happening to me. No way. No way, Jose. I'm just taking in the scenery. How did you get over there? Oh, that doesn't seem fair. Don't worry, I'll find my way. Okay, Zoro. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're fine here. Everything's okay. I just got held up a little bit. That's all. The lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. A Torin Ode in there yet? <laughs> the two golden oldies? Oh, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love. I love them already. <laughs> Screwdriver. They're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? <laughs> they well, are that's a them. lot. I'll be there soon. Oh, good. Did I just pick up arrows? That's exactly what I needed. Thanks for reading me. So well. Really hope the moon the moonshine helps Casey. Me too. Get these supplies, baby. Do I have a map to get me unlost? I do, thankfully. More arrows! Jesus! What are you for? There's no point to you. You're One, empty two. inside. One, two. I a feeling tonight, cold and late. <laughs> Been a while since we played on this shore. Oh, good. Sucks. No, come on, I did the thing. Oh, you just made me waste a bunch of bullets. Why is everyone so sturdy? The black mirror. Oh my god, I might die. I'm gonna head back to the safety of the light real quick. Okay, I didn't actually need to. This is getting a little spicy. I wasn't expecting the run down here to be this, uh, this hardcore. Eating up all of my bullets. It's fine, everybody. 
Oh wow, yeah, they even uh, barred my path. That's adorable. It was an interesting noise she made when she died. Yeah, you're Testing. not wrong. Testing. Testing. Gonna need Crank more reverb. I'm getting no bounce out here. <laughs> Yay, look, there they are. Oh, it's my boys. Where are my chimes? I threw them out. Chimes are not rock and roll. Yeah, hey, they are. I'm here. If you hey, know, we did I'm it. here. Let's get ready. Anderson, chimes are a crime. Anderson, we set a patrol center up here overlooking the area. Anderson, I can drop more gear down for you if you're running low. That's going to be a factor. I'll use the hit the Taken when they come. Light them up for you. Oh. Bad news is we were in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. <sighs> Your partner here will try to keep it running. But I, I'm not a damn mechanic. I wish your tech guy was here, Karen. Did he call her Karen? Her name is Kieran. Was that a dig? Did you just do a diggy poo? Alright, well, then how do I kick this thing off? Let, let's go to the mine place, I guess. Torin Odin's song is out do back to bed. Play out of the dark Master place. of Puppets? Scratch will come for us. We need to be ready to protect them. That's what I thought, Frizzle. More beer! Alright. So. Tell Torn uh, Odin to get started. Alright, I can do that. Hey, fellers. Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done. And I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! This is just like that scene in Alan Hello, Wake. Hello, Cauldron Wake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. I'm gonna die. Experience a soul searing mind frying act of black magic and sorcery. This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. Yeah, I'm ready. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Hopefully, I don't get a POS. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, you're making Wait. me look bad in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Come on, guys. Got a stream to entertain here. Come on, hop to. Survive the summoning ritual, indeed. More people should play drunk. A whole lot of paranormal crimes happening right now. Yep. It's fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. The show's drawing a crowd. I Take agree. I just like to know where they're coming from. Oh, literally from... Yeah, okay. They're coming. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Oh, come on! Do you have a light shield or not? So frustrating. There's so many of them. Anderson on the left. I'll blast him with the light. I mean, I'm trying. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to touch stuff. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be a Scrooge. There's more ammo waiting. Hey, that's a good one. I'm not feeling very safe. Why didn't that kill you? Dude, there's so many guys here. I can't. Oh, hey, buddy. More taken on the way. I don't really have the means to deal with these. There's so many of them. I don't... I don't have enough... anything. 
And there's a big one here now, too. That should be illegal. <laughs> this is the worst. Stay back. Stock up on ammo. Oh my god, they've got hammers. I'm working on it. I got a Did someone get me anyway? Someone did. I just died. Thank goodness for that coffee charm. Excuse me. number of them. This sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Anderson, I dropped gear for you. Oh, did you? Thank goodness. I have them in the light. Oh, shit. There's no way to keep up with all this. I don't even know where the supplies are. Oh. Anderson, they're trying to stop the song. Oh, are they? I'm sorry. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I helped. I helped so much. <laughs> the power of rock and roll. Man, I'm good at this. I really pulled my weight. There. A connection to the dark place. Like the other labs. That's the place to use the clicker. <laughs> good thing Tor's actually good at this. Good lord, that was rough. The point is, we survived. That's really all that matters here. I'm sorry, Mimi. What happened? Why didn't it work? I did everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? So where the fuck is he? Oh. Are we about to be he? I think we're about to be he. He he. The time has arrived. Where I have even less ammo, if I recall correctly. Fantastic. Hiding a tower. It was back. Well, I don't need to be told twice. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna make a run for it. We're back in the saddle. If only Sith were here, he would be not disappointed, finally. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. Yeah, it's looking it pretty haggard in here. Late. Looking swanky. Not sure how I feel about the trend of survival horror games actually wanting you to play evasively in like RE again. Kind of preferred the goopy false tension. Yeah, I was not a fan of that entire sequence. That was far too many enemies, and I don't have uh, weapons to deal with crowds. Nobody I mean, I do, but I don't have any. <laughs> was I too late? Okay, we need to get to the writer's room. That's that's this door with the with the spider. <laughs> Maybe Scratch not. was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. I hear angry people. Am I being stalked? Terrifying. 
Dark Place, The Art of Alice Wick. The machine gun. The one gun I didn't get. Me too, Sly. It won't end. Like a nightmare I can't wake up from. Best YouTuber apology so far. I thought I could contain Ellen in my photos, but... Much better. Every night. Like waves hitting the shore. I'm... I'm so tired. He's here all the time now. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. Me too, Sly. that mean I have made a decision most of you won't understand you're scaring me Alice what does that mean people call me an artist but I don't care about any of that I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. God damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> that is so uncool. That is so fucking uncool. Fuck. There's still hope. This is the dark place. There's no saying that this is exactly what happened. You know? Fuck. Alice was dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. No! Oh my god. Okay. Wow. So, that was the exact same thing that happened the last chapter that we finished with Alan, but from the other perspective. He thought Scratch broke in and shot him. And from this perspective, he walked in and shot Scratch. Oh dear. Diner. Now that's a tangle. I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself It is a video game prime song. I was the one haunting Alice. That was always me. I killed her.
No, no, it's still a game. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Fuck. <laughs> this is very upsetting. I'm very upset. Shit. <laughs> I don't even know how to articulate myself. This is so bad. Oh my god. Why? How dare you put me through that right after putting me through the, the fight that I just did. Twice in a row now. You've broken my heart. We did bring Wake back from the dark place with the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. What? The fuck? Hey! This is the first time this game has actually fucked my head. Are you okay? <gasps> no! It's my fault! He cut out! With my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. Bitch. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants uh, the clicker. Uh. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, Lock it, and blast it with all you got. So we're gonna die several times before we actually do this successfully. I'm just putting that out there now. Just, you know, do a little, little, little mea culpa. Uh, <laughs> if we can't bring Alice back, I'm gonna fly to Sam Lake and cry in front of him and shit. <laughs> You're gonna uh, tie yourself to a chair. Be <laughs> like, listen, Mr. W Mr. Lake, you don't have to bring Alice back. You don't have to bring her back and give Alan a happy ending. Oh, man. Okay, I just... Wowie, wowie, wowie. Get your adverbs here. I'm just... I'm feeling a lot right now. So, something that I was thinking on my private playthrough was that... Because uh, we learned in the last stream the revelation that, like, it's been scratched the whole time. Allegedly, right? Uh, so why, why was Alan doing the whole, like, origami killer shtick where he's talking to himself as though he's not the killer the entire time. You know what I mean? It was a bit, I was like, are we really this bad at writing? Apparently not. Apparently not. All right, Scratch, let's, uh, let's fucking embarrass me in front of my friends. Let's go. Him, <laughs> let's go. He's too fast. Anderson, pin him down with gunfire for me to get the light on. Oh, I could do that. Anderson, we lost power. Get him! What? what exactly am I meant to do when he's... Oh, oh, one of those guys! Okay, that was my bad. That was my fault. Really? Even through the wall, huh? Alright. Fine, I guess. Oh, I'm trying. Glad I got it. Hurry, Anderson. Same as last time. Hang in there, Anderson. Ah. Need to bring the lights up. You're gonna be sorry, Scott. Wow, that's got some range. Hey, buddy. Oh, you turned your head ever so slightly. Now it's the bed. I still don't really know what I'm doing here. Go, go, go. But, uh, alright. I'm very, very low on the bullets. You know? Our saga will crash you! Anderson! 
Since we're doing this in the romantic moonlight. Yeah, oh, what? How? We're back. I barely had any time. Wait, why do I have 125 bullets? That's a lot, isn't it? Wow, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Alright. No, not first try. Not first try at all. Good to know I have this many bullets, though. That's fun. I'm gonna pin him down with it. Anderson, we lost power. Wait, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. No, that was that was false. False alarm. Got him. I merely Get stunned him. him. Okay. Got him. He's trapped. This is your Time shot, Anderson. Sure. Turn the lights. You've got Viking blood in you. You've got power no Viking blood out. left in you. He's coming for you. I'll get it running. Just be I'm ready. Sure is. Oh, I didn't stun him. I thought I did. He did the pose. Eh, 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 eh. Ooh, spicy. Trap him now. Okay. So the cue is when she tells them to bring the light on him. That's when I know he's stunned. Not when I feel like he is. We all understood on that? He's free. I'll fix it. We can hit him again. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, come on now. Hot, it's back on. All right, come on, bring it. Bring it on. I'm out. Now, Estevez, the light. Alan can take a take a wallop, power, you know? You lost the stream? I'm sorry. Lights are out. Anderson, he's coming. I need to figure out where Casey is oh. dropping. Ah! He's dropping all this ammunition. Him, I need Let it. Him back, I'm gonna run around and see what uh, what's going on here. Casey's up there, right? So there should be just like oodles. Oodles of noodles okay. for me. We're back. Grab. Is it these? Might be these. <laughs> You're uh, gonna be sorry. He's too fast for me. Shoot him. Look, I'm. Oh, jeez, I can't. I have arrows in my inventory, and I don't want them. Oh, no chaps in my face! Okay. Get rid of the... Get rid of the flippin' arrows. Power is out. He's coming for you. I'll fix it. We can hit him again. Need to rotate the lights. Oh, uh, don't I know it. Show him, kiddo! I'm trying. You picked a family to mess with, devil! Use the light on him. Okay, I will this time. I got him trapped. Go, go. I'm doing go. good. I got this. I'm doing my best. Now I okay. Ah. That's the third one. He's free. Hang in there, Anderson. Scratch our bullet oh, into the cell. Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Oh, no. He doesn't care. All right. He didn't even care about light at all! Dude, I have to get out of here. Okay, alright, well, that's that's a little bit of a... That we, what, what's plan B? Do we have one? Do we have plan beta? Get up on the Hydra's back! <laughs> Did it work? Casey? 
God damn it! Are you fucky right now with the fuckness? And now he's got the crap. Fuck me! Can I redo it? Thanks for the flip slide. Why did it have to be Casey? Is this also they don't kill to be Alan? The bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tear Fist is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less. Bright. Did I just get the bad ending? What's going on here? Gosh, Pat Mane. Pat Mane, everybody. All right. Oh, I'm Alan now, with no gear at all. We need to get to our next gig. Okay, guys, We're hang on. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. Are we going in the you water? Take care of things on this side. Oh, guys, no, that's Don't a bad idea. Up, Tom. Oh, for fuck's I'd sake. I'd seen it all play out. Like a horror movie I've been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Oh, do we need to talk? The fucking Anderson brothers are walking into the lake. Do we need to talk about that? Do we need to talk about how the Federal Bureau of Control is being run by a bunch of drunken chimpanzees? Do we want to talk about that one? Everyone's at fault but me. Hello? Welcome back, Wake. Hi. You are awake now, right? With a shadow out of you? Yeah. I'm... Some good news, at least. Give me guns. <laughs> Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. Is that going to be another game? The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. Don't tell Mimi. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. Eagle Wake. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Guns. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. That's a good Zane never plot. did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want to open with that one, Alan. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he is the clicker. I said, when we met Casey again in the morgue, or when Estevez said that it, it did so, it, it left him. Just left him. It knocked him unconscious and left. The Dark Presence doesn't do that. There's a reason. That's what I said. You can go back and watch the VOD. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. Guns! This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish well, I could help, but this is we're all We're in a boondoggle. Me. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. Wait, you, you represent, like, one of the most powerful shadow I organizations... In the, the American FBI government. vehicle would be at the parking lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mimi. And all you have for me is a shotgun, a flergen, and a revolver. That's it. Get off the other box. I have needs. We need a writer to fight this demon. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't, don't call for backup or anything. Don't patch this into the boys. And girls at home at Langley or, or the oldest house. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I I write novels. 
All right, shit. Well, I mean, you know, we, we got through. That's something, at least. You know, that's got to count for something. Now, how do I get out of here? How do I get to the car? Through here. I hear you. Oh, God. I was awake again. I've not covered clear words. Clear-headed for awake. the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark Red forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. Yeah, we back. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. What happens when I press the mind place button? Absolutely shit all. We don't even have a map. Frizzle, we don't have a map. <laughs> what do you mean, taken from me? Alan is very up his own butt. That's that's not new. Oh, come on, man. I only just got his body. Why is... Yeah, that was so aggressive! You're violent! I don't exactly, like, I'm not exactly made of bullets out here. Shit. This wouldn't have gone so well if Barry was here. It wouldn't have gone so badly if Barry was here. I suspect you're right. How will we survive with no map? We're wandering for years with no map. We really were. You know, I may have opened these a little prematurely, now that I think about it. It's police. I'm just gonna run. I don't have enough... I don't have enough murder pellets for this. Oh, okay. I can't. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a keep running situation with how many of them there are. It doesn't seem like it was intended that I stop and fight every single one. Do I get to have this? Is this for me? Little old me. Oh, goody goody. Dante from Devil May Cry, is that you? Wait. Okay, I was just gonna say, you're not allowed in here. This is my place. My safe space. Barry tried so hard to help Alice and she still did what she did. We don't know. We don't know that that happened. We're not 100% certain that, that was her fate. You can't be certain of anything. All we have is hearsay and rumor. Excuse me. I'm trying to find my way home. Oh, of course there's these things in the way. Excuse me. Alright. I don't think birds the fly around. Place, the dark presence went into me. Fly around much around the volcanic gas. Back. Wait, did, did someone say something? Hang on. Did we mention birds? Your crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it getting stronger. Oh no! Waking up. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. Turn me in a scratch. Still Gucci in here. Yeah, that, that's my weakness in this playthrough. My only weakness is I don't pay attention to the Taken dialogue. Uh, yeah, there was, there was a manuscript page that talked about how the birds fly around it. The animals don't drink the water of Cauldron Lake. They avoid that shit like the plague. Alan had another man inside of him for 13 years. Gay! A little bit. Yeah. Call Guinness World Records. I think Alan might just be crazy. Uh, no, this is all definitely happening. There's a lot less, uh, uh oh. There's a lot less ambiguity than there is in Deadly Premonition. Where it's like, are those I things had to really get to Bright Falls. See this the through to the end. The answer is yes for both, by the way. They are still there. They are actually there. Just in Deadly Premonition, you have sort of like a Batman effect. You never see the, the, the shadows and anyone else that York can talk to saga in the same room at the same story time. To help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. 
think Alan might just be, uh, I mean that he always had scratch in him because he's an idiot. Um, it's possible that he's always like, I think scratch might be the manifestation of all the darker parts of Alan's personality. The ones that specifically came out when he was going on drug benders and punching paparazzi because he was a sad boy that his books weren't making him happy. Uh, and then the dark presence sort of exacerbated it. I, I'm not really sure. It's, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of all over the place at this point. A journalist punching idiot. You found the car. Yay. I did it. I did it. Very proud of me. We all got that scratch in us. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. True. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. Uh oh. The eye in the sky is going somewhere else. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. Is this what future Alan meant? In I dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. Yeah, it, it seems that the dark presence piggybacked on Alan when he was clickered out of the dark place and just bided its time until this moment where it basically piggybacked off of Alan onto Casey. It had taken me oh, because of Annie to therapy. To out. Now Alice was dead. That's really because funny. Because of death. me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Still wearing Yako's jacket. Cover photo. Here we go. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. I agree. Especially with me at the helm. Way more bullets. Way, way more bullets. Scratch is just dark applier. True! Still thinks he's a hero is the problem? Absolutely. You're not wrong. Maybe the evil was within too. Oh, this looks decidedly not dark. You're probably right, Jazz. Alan Wake returned. Oh, well, this is creepy. Wow, they managed to make daytime creepy. Never been done this before. This is not what I expected. Trying to bully me into playing the evil within one and two. Alan Wake is this generation's greatest storyteller. Hey, those are the bookers. <laughs> and they're sobbing. Why are they so sad? Is it because you died? They died, by the way. They died Come off screen. The Humor glows in Wake's pages. Well, this a is a little bit, symbol and name little bit masturbatory here. What are we doing? Trip is evidence that Wake is winking at the reader. It does give Midsummer vibes. And we finally get to experience Deerfest. Oh fuck, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm nom 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 nom. Hello, I'm Ilma Koskela, and welcome to the Koskela Brothers Book Club. This week we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high quality white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn. Who your advertises like that? Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss enamel. lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? No! No, come on! Wake set a high standard... Oh, that's so up, painful! I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. So sad. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? No! 
You can still see his silhouette. There you have it. No. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this a lot. Don't touch the bear. They're not, they're not gonna let me look around. They're not gonna let me do shit around here. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending. A perverse version of reality. The gay clam? The people brainwashed. Oh, no, Everyone and everything revolved around return, as if it had just been published. This motherfucker is a whole run! Okay. That's a lot of enthusiasm, but dial it down. The unanswered mystery is what stays with you the longest. Was Auntie really a resident of the nursing home? Uh, perhaps we'll never know. Rug out from under That's what I was thinking. What's Ati's deal? Right, fellow fans? Return is sold out. Shit. Shit balls. Return is a story that can help a police. Saga and Casey will go down as literature's best law enforcement duo. Grab a deer mask. You're embarrassing yourself. Hey, it's Debbie. Wake definitely tricks Donna. the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story's antagonist. So this is just Sam Lake jerking himself off for this game, isn't it? Is that that's what we're doing? The tragedy of Saga Why no love for Barry? That's a good question. Who's saying that? Is it the thermos? To David Cage jerk. I put this together, by the way. This was me. I did this. Look at this delightful. The old gods of Asgard are back. Wake clearly knows what his fans want to see. Still, Norman? Still. I swear to God, there's no sauna. ending in which Saga is left to die in the lake is modern horror. There's no sauna at Deerfest, guys. At least Sam Lake is a decent writer. Stan Lee, is that you? No? Okay. Guys, I need a copy of Return. Anybody? Anybody? Long, long pants. Hello? Book. Book? Book? Book. Ah! I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing from Inception, where, where, the, where the dream residents are aware that you realize you're in a dream, and now they're getting shifty and uncomfortable. Sick story. Shit. Fuck, I have no bullets right now. Ah! Oh, no! Shit, ass. Yeah, don't use the weapon as a weapon. Use it as a doorstop. Now. You're brilliant. I could You're the smartest man. Return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this. The pen really story. is mightier than the sword. This is basically the part in RE4 at the beginning. Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. This was an obsessive, <laughs> egocentric nightmare. Yeah, all Alan. Revolving around a vain monster of a writer. He's finally and starting to get it. Divine work of art. Finally starting to pick it up. Return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. There's a gazebo. Perfect. This game has a lot of gazebos in it. Like an overwhelming amount of gazebos. Also, wait a minute. This looks. I needed to reach the writer's room. No right fucking into conclusion. way. The scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche. I would bring his sick fantasy Guys. crashing down around him. Holy shit. Okay. Let's just walk through this for a moment. You and me. Just, just the two of us. Just the eight of us. 
we're at the nursing home right now. Now, uh, uh, eagle-eyed, eagle-brained uh, uh, listeners and watchers of the stream will remember that uh, we learned that the nursing home was refitted to be a nursing home from the estate of Thomas Zane and Barbara Jagger. That was their home. They lived here. And the writer's room has been the upstairs room of that house in the dark place this entire time. It would be Thomas Zane's house, wouldn't it? Meow. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. That's fucking cool. That is so cool. It's very cool. Yeah, the place with the swirl. Very fucking cool. We've never seen the writer's room from the outside before. I wonder if the original nursing home has those those windows there. I need to check that out at some point. I need to do an investigate. You go in the basement again? No. Time to do an interracial swirl in here. They're very iconic, those two windows. I had to like, find another way inside. Like a no? Is that a no to me going in? Okay. That's fair. Well, this place has to have a front door also. She, she was underwater. It was too late. You're drowning in dark water. Oh, watchy. Oh, can I? No, I can't go through here. Do I really? Do I really the basement? Or do I go through the wellness center? Oh, we're going to make me go through the wellness center, aren't we? Oh, my. No bullets. Again, by the way, just putting that out there. <laughs> oh! Alice? Alice. What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Yes. I have no means of defending myself. I just want to put that out there. Yeah, I hated it too, D, and I'm still hating it now. In 3D, actually. Everything is spookier when you don't have weapons. <laughs> All this seasoning and no flavor. This is the save room. Can I go into the Satan? No. There's no safety here. Hey, Grims. We're in the middle of a, of, a, of a spicy right now. No flavor, though. Oh, shit, scratch! And we're running. Fuck, that's Fuck. a dead end. <laughs> ah. Fuck off. No, get away from me, please. Oh, we did it. We did the Resident Shut Evil. The fuck up. It took three streams, but we did it. I don't want a happy ending. I have a wife. Fuck off. He can't get in here, though, right? I don't want to be one with you. Oh, fuck. Ah, Jesus. They just started right away. I'm it's getting here. Close the door. We're safe in the light, Alan. Hi, Rose. For now. The last person I wanted but to talk to. Very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. It really is her fault. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Because it was Scratch. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> but now yeah. you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Oh! Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Oh! I think one of you said it earlier and I just didn't pick up on it right away because I was thinking of like the spiral doors throughout the playthrough. But no, in the nursing home, the door at the very top floor that Ati jump scared us out of investigating that wouldn't open. That, that's the, 
Why didn't I? Why didn't I realize that? Anytime the spiral appears on a door, that's the writer's room. That should have been super obvious the second I was there the first time. Bah! Bah. I feel like like a like a big windy toot for a brain. But okay. Ha! Dark presence. You're welcome. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm gonna bully myself. I will. How could I miss such a thing? I'm supposed to tell you what's going on, not the other way around. Upstairs, the First writers' room must be in the attic. Oh, gee, you That's know, where I wonder. Were. I wonder if Rose closed the doors to her fucking Alan Wake shrine before she came to rescue me just now. You know, priorities. It's okay. We still love you. Thank you. Likewise. This makes me wonder what Rose was touched by the first time, or was it just the trauma of having come into contact with Wake and the Darkness? So she was touched by the Darkness in the end credits, uh, the post credit scene in Alan Wake 1. The, uh, uh, the Dark Presence is looming over her as she looks out of a window, holding one of Alan Wake's books. She's definitely been touched by the Darkness. That's the thing, though. I don't know if she still is, but... No, no, she definitely... Okay, no, she definitely is, because she took Cynthia's lamp away from her but then she did that only because she thought Alan Wake told her to. I don't know. I don't you look know. Around and come to Keter, Tom. Hey, buddy. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. But your door has a thing over All it. All you need is water and Vileda. What's Vileda? Water is the oldest bulb. True. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti, I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can water you is everything. find my way? Every. One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's kind of yeah. He's basically saying keep your ta keep your taint dry. But also, what imagery? If you shit your pants, it is like the shit is beating your underpants, punching it. I'll get the door open for Who's you. Who's the Tom. real poet here? I ask you. There you go. This motherfucker had the key the whole time. The matter is a stake. Well done. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. I like that he says his name all finish like. He doesn't just drop like a Adi. Thanks, Adi. Yeah, he's the janitor. You right? I think if I shit my underpants, it'd be more of a bomb. I yeah, I'd be like passing a fat, right a fat man nuke. <laughs> what was it? Right. <laughs> was that what it was called? Just came from a 2.5 hour travel to catch the stream. If you shit your pants, that's a good time to come in. Yeah. I needed an ending that took everything already in return also and welcome, extended Peter. it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Well, you've had 13 years, Alan. The time is now. Uh, much like a certain Devil May Cry song has, has been saying for a while now. The time has come. Return's ending was an and eternal so have deer I. fest that would keep spreading. Yeah, Fat Man. In the time, boy. Scratch would plunge the, the world nukes. into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return, a perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this, on me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. Shit. An idea. Ah. Oh, it's an echo. I fuck with echoes. Let's go over here. Yeah, buddy. The ending has to fit, the ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. I hope If not. there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. <laughs> I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. 
We need to try to save everyone. There we go. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. You guys are hilarious. Well, let's balance those scales, I suppose. It's all coming up, Millhouse. Told you, look at the lengths he would go to to attend Deerfest forever. He's really burned that he missed it the first time. Uh, <laughs> right that Scratch wakes up at school naked to humiliate him to death. Write a banana peel in front of the door. You guys are genius. These are actual, real good suggestions for finishing this story out. Okay, Alan, you know what to do. It's, I'm very excited. Let's put the word on the photo. The dark horror ending. To save them all, the hero must pay the price. Future Alan told past Alan, you will get out, but you won't, and it'll be your choice. Boom. Let's go. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before. Dark whore. But it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. It's what he wears in the dark place. Wow, we're really barreling through chapters here. No. <laughs> no. You cut that out. You knock that off. Oh my. No! That would be cool as hell if Marky moved. What's going that. on? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Am I in the field office? No! Mayor no. Setter is gone! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck shit shit shit. Piss. Caseboard. My work. No. It's all gone. No. What the hell is happening? Oh god. Oh, that's that's fine. I just have to leave. All I have to do is leave. Shit, there's no way out. Television? Nothing's working. Fuck. I can't think straight. Come on, Saga. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Oh no. Uh, quick, let's 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 take the fact that we're fucked to the case board. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? <laughs> nah, that wasn't. Me. What? Oh, goddamn. Failed who? What's happening to the case board? We need to find evidence. Let's do some profiling of other saga. Oh my god, this is getting so nuts! The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. For real, this is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Uh, let's 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 learn about Logan, Logan. from Other Saga. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. No, that that's just part of the story. That's that's not real, Dad. It's 
It's just a bunch of baloney. So Saga's about to wake up her persona. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> Logan and Alistair having a bitch fest because Saga and Alan keep fucking it up. Definitely missed something. Oh, yeah, just a, a few things. We've been we've been on the the end game slope for the last hour or so. Casey, Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. Yeah, Logan's adorable. He beated me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Doing that smizing again. Something's very fucking wrong here. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. Jesus. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. You know, there's a little bit of editorializing going on here. I, I, I don't know that I caught into it. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. You fucked everything up. <laughs> All right, well, okay. Intrusive thoughts winning. The story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. She's not dead. God damn it. You're the only one who won't accept she's dead. True, but that doesn't mean she's dead. <laughs> what makes more sense? Everyone is wrong or, or you are? Everyone. I'm right all the time. If you hadn't been at work, she'd still be alive. Well, I mean, you know, if, if uh, you know, if, um, fucking, you know, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> she died alone and scared, begging you for help, and you weren't there. You, you can't put that on me, all right? You know, like, people walk outside of their houses and fall off a cliff every day. It's, 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 it's out of my hands. How many of these are there? As the water filled her lungs, she realized you weren't coming. Thanks, I needed that. That's good. Can you even still call yourself a mother after you let your only child die? Uh, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's some wiggle room, probably. I don't know. It's a complicated question. No! I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. You're blaming a horror story instead of yourself, you coward. Admit she's dead and you killed her. You killed her. You killed her! No. It's not me. It's the children who are wrong. How do I get out of here? Why do you hate me? Hello? I don't hate you. Ooh, hey, an episode of Night Springs. Just the thing I need to escape. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Did my for laters get unbugged? Their no. weekly ritual. I suspect they're not bugged. I suspect I missed clues that would un unlock them, and we're just gonna have to live Casey with that. Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. Now that I agree with, because it, it was very clear that Casey was not all right. You know? Casey was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Also true. Gotta say. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? We all kind of missed that a little bit. Let's call a sitter in the dark place. Uh, injury report. Subject, Alex Casey, FBI. Description of injury. Uh, 2,200 hours and 18 minutes. Subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and events. Concussion? Similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to the shadow is suspected, but not confirmed. You knew he was hurt. You knew the darkness. The dark presence did something to him, and you didn't care. You only pretended to care, but it was because it's convenient. The second he became a liability, you let Scratch have him. You dink. Transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake, suspected para-utilitarian. Location, Bright Falls, Washington. Interviewer, Kieran Estevez, lead agent. Mr. Wake, you've been taken into... F I feel like we read this already, but... You've been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. But for now, I need to ask if there's anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know? There's a force here you don't understand. A presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me. Consume everything. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. There were so many hints. How did you miss this? Wake was scratch. It was right under your nose. Wake was scratch. Scratch was wake. Wake was scratch. Scratch, wake, scratch, wake. You have to leave for dinner? You'll catch up later? 
All right, well, thanks for being here, Frizzle. Have yourself a good one. Enjoy dinner. Be good out there. There is no way out. All right, calm down. Let's uh, let, let's follow the, uh, the the scratch thing. Where is he? Wake with scratch, and I had no idea. Terrible detective. There Wait, what? Idiot. <laughs> you know, and Casey was having trouble. Uh, <clears throat> fucking, uh, just I I back. Ah, there it is. What's happening? I can read. You should never have brought him to Cauldron Lake right to scratch. You tit. You fool. Fell asleep for a little bit. Pain meds took me out. I'm sorry, Mimi. Welcome back. Terrible. Where's where's the I'm a terrible mother. There it is. Why is this happening? Oh, well, you know. This and that. Saga's having a little bit of a, a crisis here. A little bit of one. I never should have trusted these. They were written by a poo-poo head. And you were right. Gotta touch the deer. This case. This room. Is any of it even real? Well, you didn't conk out for too long, then. Let's see. Is there anything else in here for me to touch? My dainty, slender fingers? Alright, this has all been a hallucination, because I'm losing my mind. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in Saga a Anderson crisis core. My fears, my doubts, my insecurities. This mental palace is dear to me. What is this place? Is it Gongaga? All right, I use manuscript pages as a crutch instead of doing my job. Terrible, de terrible detective. That's not. No. Damn. All right, surely there's something else here for me to touch. Ah, here we go. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. Stuff up in the air, too. Yeah, the yeah, cult yeah. was just the beginning of the spiral. You gotta look up sometimes, you know? I've had with you cultist maniacs! I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. That was a questionable decision, also. You know, it's almost like you're not I psychic or something. I too much time away from Logan. Well, back to the drawing board. Pile some more blame on ourselves. Let let the bad brain in. Let it win. I'm a terrible mom. Come on. Imagine carrying a baby nine months just to make it saga. Wait. <laughs> what? Anyway, here's Wonderwall. I abandoned my partner to investigate on my own. Shitty partner. What's happening to me? You were so eager to be in charge that you left him behind. Like a weenus. The pages were your excuse for always being one step behind. She spent every day by herself in that trailer. You took her from David and stuck her in a backwater shithole. Damn real. What the hell? You fucked this case up so badly that the FBC took over. <laughs> I mean... I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. I mean, the FCC... Oh, fuck. <laughs> the FBC won't let her be or let CDC... Oh, no! What? Oh, there's new clues. Oh, delightful. That's not true. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made Casey stay behind. Poor Casey. Oh, there's more profiling to do. Fantastic. Logan. The horror story used her. Yeah, it did. And how? My badge. Never should have taken this case. No. I'm not reading anymore. Are they getting bigger? Feels like they're getting bigger. No. There has to be a way out. It'd be so I empty need a way without out. Saga. Oh god. None of this is real. <laughs> Hard R on the bigger. I'm not even sorry, here. Sorry, sorry. Bigger. The mind place isn't real. 
a case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. Look, if Alan Wake can hack it for 13 years, you can hack it for a day, Saga, all right? Bootstraps. I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm kidding. I'm a kidder. I make jokes around here. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. You got yourself no a good point there. No way to fix this. There's no way out. <laughs> Director Faden, please. Here forever. Please do something. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. Oh. Spirit animal. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Why is Arthur Morgan here? Arthur. Oh! The lights. No. No. Wah. I'm not giving up. Wah. Focus, Saga. Wah. The answers I need are here somewhere. Where is the Licht? I just have to look. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I wasn't actually done at the case board. I still had... I had thoughts. I saw this online and it made me think of you. Not the worst okay, mom. What are you doing? Wow. Uh, don't make a big deal out of it, mom. So. No hugs, no hugs. Okay. Well, all right. Scratch possessed Arthur Morgan, the entire planet would be fucked? True. And every door would be burst off its hinges. Easy. Hey, Mom. I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. I made a matching one for me, so... Nordic Tales and Folklore. That's delightful. This is what Life is Strange was trying to do with the last episode, to be honest. Well, they should have done it. Instead of just trying. I am honored by this award. Thank you. Thank you. While our agency must continue oh. to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. Just think of the thing. Certificate of Meritorious Achievement to Agent Saga Anderson. August 8th, 2019. Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Marrow. She's only been an FBI agent for four years. Ha! Kid stuff. Peppercorns. Hey. hey. Just calling to say thanks for your note. Oh, Saga. Sometimes oh. I just get in my head too much. So, thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, Mom. Yeah, really. that's, what, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hey, talk soon. I thought so. Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. That will teach her so much. There will be times just like this when you question your choices, your confidence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love you always. Maum. Okay, pale, throwing around your man dick energy everywhere. <laughs> That's what I do. I'll do it again. Anderson, uh, look, look, after Brand left, it was, uh, well, well, I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. You Miranda Casey. You dinners at your house with your family. It really, uh, meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's him at Logan's birthday party. What a happy boy. You know, I bet he would have a great time doing a silly dance to a rock opera song. That's just a feeling that I have. You know? He seems like the kind of guy. Oh, hello. Stop, Stop blaming, blaming yourself, yourself Anderson. Anderson. A knife in the arm is just, just part of the part job. job. You're going to keep fussing. Joel McHale. <laughs> look, that, look, that, leave the whiskey. whiskey. All right, the whiskey's yours, buddy. Far be it from me. Heaven forfend, I like to say. It's 
get up to the case board. We've got a lot to go through here. Uh, uh, case, uh, uh, but, uh, terrible part. No, no, that's a mom. Wait, I'm a terrible partner. No, it's my fault he got hurt. Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. Casey it's fault. Like Casey there. It is, it is. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I wish I'd been there for Casey, but I know he wouldn't want me to blame myself for this. We can't control every outcome. He taught me that. Casey has never blamed me when things go sideways. It's all part of the job. Oh, look, they're not they're not being shitty to me anymore. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me She's from trying. She's doing self-therapy. From leaving. What the fuck? Casey isn't just a partner. He's family. I might not always be the best partner, but Casey trusted me. He wouldn't give up, and neither will I. Casey's still in there. I'm sure of it. Fuck yeah, doggy. Terrible. Losing my mind. There we go. No, this is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. I love how Saga figured this out in a day, and Alan didn't in thirteen years. Let, let's let's give a round of applause for Mister Fucking Wake out here. <laughs> Jeez. God damn it. Jeez, out here. Okay. Sorry. Uh, did Mom know something like this would happen? That I would need to hear these words again someday? Well, she is an Anderson. Uh, I haven't lost it. At least not yet. This is all real. This place wants me to doubt myself, but I can't. I still have work to do. Fuck yeah. And I'm a great detective. I can't let this place make me question myself. Because if I, I were a bad I'm detective, doing. I'd probably be... No idea what I'm doing. No, no, no. If I were a bad detective, I'd probably be dead by now. Blaming myself for past mistakes won't solve the case. And Casey gave me no end of shit for that speech. Dad blasted. And as for Logan... Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. That's right. Dead! No, no, she we just established dead. she's not dead. No, she's not. No, I didn't shut save up. Her. Double fuck, fuck you. Fuck, no! Double fuck you. Shut up. My daughter isn't dead, and I won't let some bullshit story convince me that I let her die, because I'm working through my issues in a very interesting manner. Uh, just looking at the door and being like, open, please. <laughs> she wanted us to stay connected. God, I love that kid. Yeah, she's great. It's okay to be... What the fuck? Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Alan Wake can't. famous glitches. I just, I just want it to stop. We were about to Giving have a moment. won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. You basically just kind Shit. of fall through this. There's no way to get this wrong. I haven't failed them, and I'm not going to. There's still time to fix this. Didn't I have, like, another photo also? I might not be the perfect mom, but I've done my best. Logan loves me, and I love her. I brought this mug with me on every case. I go where work takes me, but I've never forgot where home. I'm so close. The dark place wants me to hate myself. But I Don't just need to get inside my own head. Bad brain is always wrong. I'm talking to you too, audience. Bad brain's always wrong. They took a page out of Gollum. How dare you? I'm leaving! I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. That's a promise. I'll keep making mistakes. I'm afraid it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. I will survive. And I'm getting the hell out of here. Just you watch with this final photo. Pow! No, no! The dark place tried to trap yes, me Yes, yes, yes. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. And with that, the case is solved. 
Alan should have been an Anderson. Agreed. The Dark Place tried to weaponize my anxieties against me. I won't let it turn me into a Taken. I'm stronger than that. I have finished Sisu. And Logan needs me. Well, I guess Swedish Sisu. Oh, look. It's a regular mind place again. Does that mean? Does that mean? Could it be? I've decided that's not the exit. Do the gumbo. Do it up. Gumbo! Put up, put up, put up! Walking into an episode of Night Springs. Saga, wake up, Alice. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. I'm just gonna keep going. Are we okay with that? I don't want to end the stream yet. <laughs> Let's go to the payphone. Baby girl. Man's not hot. Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? I'm Alice Zane. Don't ask questions. The fact that I have bullets makes me uncomfortable. Wait, the fuck? It's my boy, Tim Breaker, as soon as I can... Hey, there he is. Agent Anderson. Look at yourself. Hi. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What, what are you doing here? You? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Tell me more about him. Been trying to piece it together for... <laughs> well, it feels like a long time now. Orland Dorr? Who is that? Who is this Dorr person? He's here. Somewhere. Ah, oh, shit. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. Since about 2016, would you wager? Insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. So, uh, where is Parliament Tower Plaza? I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there were many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. Describes hey, Dor finding his way through this place. We were playing as Alan Waker, I tried to follow you the missed steps, it. but... No luck. Welcome to the stream. Can I see, Can I see that page? Give me the page. Of course. Give me the page. Give me the page. Give me the page. I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. They decided not to raid me? Here. That's okay. They would have gotten heavily spoiled of Alan Wake 2. You, you may have saved them all. I'm going to keep looking you. for Dor. I appreciate that. The closer that. I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warling Dor walked across the rain slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. Oh, man. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna deal with this first. Warland Dorr walked across the rain slick tiles of Caldera Seuss. Street Plaza. Is that Rick Grimes? No. To touch him. He sensed his steps were being observed, Tim documented Rick. into the story. He allowed it. This one time for this one reason. To be passed on by his unwilling disciple. To read at the right time. 
The ocean that was the dark place took the shape of New York City, drawn for the mind of Alan Wake, in part for the writer to navigate his prison, in part to torment him as he struggled to find his way out. Dor was not bound by the rules as Wake was. He came and went as he pleased. For now, Dor entertained the writer's fantasy, for a purpose known only to him. <laughs> at the edge of the plaza, he stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there, another part of Wake's fiction. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. In part to cut down on development when Saga came to the dark place. Ah, you're lifting the veil. All right, where's where's Dor? What the fuck? We got we got Warlandor somewhere. Why am I not seeing it anywhere? You can't just give me a door. Wait, wait, it was a it was a profiling thing, wasn't it? It was a profiling thing. Boss fight with Dor is my prediction. I hope so. I thought that we were done with him. I'm glad we're not. Warlandor. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warlandor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. True. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. Omori is great. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this. It's hard to know who's playing who. Yes. Opening too many doors. Yes. This isn't important right now. I can look into it later. No. I, I must know more. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Family. Here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Does she get to be a door because she's black? Is that <laughs> is that what this is? Alright, these are these are silly. Okay. Well I guess I guess we're good here. Let's go to the shoebox. Right? That's what we're doing, right? Okay. Just making sure. More bullets. Just like Frizzle said. Okay. Back on task. We're back in the train station. Odd. Pay no attention. Why with the arrow still? I don't even have that gun. I don't have the crossbow gun. God damn it. I'm being haunted by arrows. It's unseemly. I actually wanted I wanted uppies. Actually. I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. Okay. No, I didn't. Shut up. Enough already. Yeah, get the hell out of here. I'm done listening to you. Oh, it's these fucking people again. No, 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 no. I know you're one of them. Ah, shit. Where's the shoebox? There it is. Okay. There's the shoebox. The clicker. A magic bullet. And some a bullet kind of, of light. Bullet. Shining with light. How That's did cool. the clicker get here from Washington? Oh, oh, that's definitely one of them. Can I get through here? That's 
That hurts so much. Ah! Yuckers. Follow the light. Uh, you just kind of like appeared out of nowhere, bro. That's that's not cool. I'm escaping. <laughs> How did you get here from Washington? So what now? Do I just like head back? Head back into the train station and back to the other loop? Is that what we want? Yeah, he really did manhandle me. Okay, let's double check our uh, our objectives here. Uh, escape the dark place. Okay, that's not terribly helpful. That's not nice. Well, judging at what I'm looking at here. Fuck that. Why? I, I just, I don't want to stop the story. I just want to stop you guys from beating on me. Could you please just chill out about me? Excuse me. I have no means of healing myself. It's very dangerous. The phone again. Oh good, the phone's ringing. That's my favorite one. Just hobble on over there and I'll take care of that right away. I got really done dirty there. I should have been a little bit more aggressive, I think. Probably would have helped. <laughs> yes? Hello. I'm getting closer to I'm listening to that uh, Alan Wake song. Need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? God damn it. All right, back to Hobbling. Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. And I'm bleeding. I can try to contact him. I'm bleeding desperately. Time seems fucky wucky here, so like you'll be all right. I hope so. Hope I don't get attacked while I'm talking. What if none of this is real? It's a good question. Alan, we need to talk about the ending. Saga, what is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before, but I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real, just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. <sighs> yeah, I'll get right on that. Is there a problem, Mr. Wake? So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. <laughs> Same. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. Pre-existing parts? So the what ending has to be ever do you mean? Set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. All right, well, what about this horror story nonsense? You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. Fifty Shades of Grey. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. 
Helen's awful writer's block fucks us again. How do I see the ending? Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. Logan's a virgin. <laughs> in any case, I hope. I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This is a lot of profiling. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. <laughs> they need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Okay. This is not your ending, Mr. Vic. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero, too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. Yeah. Yeah, God damn it. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? <sighs> There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. <laughs> Here comes Stephen Hawking. on the other side. Oh, no. You guys are dangerous. All right, then. I'm gonna enter the fountain. There's angry boys all over the place, though. Look at them. Anger and... Bleeding profusely in the dark place. Don't worry, the blood is just part of the story. Oh wow, we get live action Saga for the first Alan. time. Saga. I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Can I see? The end. Scratch! Now! Searing light of truth that for a flash Sam pierces Lake the acting. shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. Come on, you motherfucker! Come on! Come on! What if there's nothing waiting to be revealed? The play of shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. It's destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. 
We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing but sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place? Another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning. The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting. This was at the beginning of the game, also. This, this shot, specifically. To know nothing when we loop around. Also, yeah. The... Shot in the head quite a bit in this. In the end, it was a cab that saved us. Is it over? Hamilton. Anderson. What? You're not gonna. You can't do that. Be kind. Be kind. No, you son of a. Ah, uh, there's definitely going to be a post credit scene. 100%. The meanness on display here. <laughs> uh, you know, ostensibly we did it. We beat Alan Wake 2. Are we not the best? I <laughs> could fucking sound like... Cops are used to shooting people. Time to get paid leave. We didn't get resolution for Alice or Logan or Door! You know? For Alice we did, you shush. It takes the FBI to get headshots, though. Oh, I might have to skip this, because there's... Uh, you know what, fuck it. I'll roll the dice. It's fine. I'll take the hit on it. It's a credits. What are you supposed to do? You know? Uh, this is why there's New Game Plus story. I don't know that it's going to change the outcome of things. I'm not really sure. So I, I guess I can talk about my plans here. So uh, I do intend to stream the final draft, but I'm still not entirely sure whether that's worth doing. Just because I don't know how much content gets added. If it's something that I could just cobble together in clips, then I might do that. But if it like actually... So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to do the final draft playthrough on my own to determine whether or not it's something that I want to stream a f another full playthrough for. Because this, it's, it's, it's a decently big game, uh, for my schedule at least, right? I don't want to waste your guys' time. However, there, there are going to be two DLC uh, uh, story add-ons. Three more streams. <laughs> Uh, they're going to be doing DLC, and we may get more answers there. We may get more questions there, since Sam Lake likes to think that he's David Lynch for some reason. But, uh, there's definitely more Alan Wake 2 before another decade of waiting for something new. So, we're not, we're not out of the woods yet. No pun intended. I have a hunch that one of the DLC will tie into Control 2. I hope so. Uh, Remedy is also releasing a game that is going to be set in the in control, basically, you're, you're going to play as FBC agents fighting against SCPs, and it's an online uh, uh, co-op game. And there's a lot of potential for that to be awful, but I really like the idea of uh, playing in the sort of the setting of control, and it's not the story of control. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's a it has a lot of bones. A setting like that, a premise like that. I think it would be cool to partner up and, like, fight against paranatural bullshit. That's pretty cool. Monokuma is very cute. He is very cute. I have one. Hang on. Poo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Operation Control City. You know, we could only be so ah, we could only be so lucky that it's as good. Sit, 
sit properly, you wiener. You had it right the first time, and now you're just being weird. All right. Pay no attention to the Monokuma and then my profile picture. Don't, don't worry about it. Next Remedy Verse, you should play on your own first so you don't torture yourself. I mean, I don't know. I, you guys really enjoyed my, uh, my uh, first-time reactions. I don't want to take that away from you. Alice. This part is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! Somebody said a little something like that on the Discord. Hey! Interesting. Yeah, so she's fine. She's not. She's not dead at all. That's that was just a bunch of horse pucky. I have something in my eye. <laughs> Dead Maze Hold, welcome. Welcome to the stream, uh... I mean, there might be another post credit scene, who flippin' knows. I have a light bullet in my eye yet. <laughs> That's why I look like a light bulb right now. Hollow? More like hollow gem. Am I right? Am I right, fellas? We ended on a cliffhanger, so we don't know. Now we need more spirals to win at authoring. Okay, so this, this is something else I'm going to do. I've decided. I'm going to start a new playthrough. Right now. Not to keep playing, I just want to see if the intro cutscene is any different. Or at least gives more context to what it would have had on the first viewing. Does that make sense? I just want to see it. You got an idol? That is okay. I think it's fine for me to skip this now. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Okay, so that, that begins the final draft there. And, uh... Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, it's fine. Usually when you skip credits, it goes to the next cutscene. It doesn't just, like, rip you out. So if, it, if you get kicked back to the main menu, there was nothing else. 
So let's start the final draft. We unlock Nightmare Difficulty, that's fun. Back to the beginning, with the memory of the past loop already fading fast. But while it lingers, I know there's hope. We're not doomed to repeat our failures in an eternal loop. This is a spiral. That certainly is different. A fictional poet once said, Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. I will not settle for a shadow. I'll find the miracle through the night. Well, he had just been shot in the head with a light bullet. It makes sense. It makes sense to me. It's not just victims and monsters. I see now there are heroes as well. Dude. We can find our way through the darkness. Totally new we'll dialogue. break through the surface. We will emerge into the light. That deer is making you anxious? It should, it's dead. It's a dead deer. I think I have PP re-enabled, so just, you know, just a heads up, Nightingale PP jump scare. No boxers this time. Me neither, Sly. But, 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 but. So we're just going to do this opening sequence. I guess, while I talk. So, uh, the next game that we're going to stream is going to be a little game also involving a time loop called 12 Minutes. And that will be our, our game that we stream as we wait for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to drop, which I, I think I'm also going to be playing blind. But I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Half-Minute Hero. What's wrong with it? Come on, in. We should go. I think with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I'm going to have a private playthrough that I will allow gone. to go past the stream. So I can play it on my own time. I don't think I'm going to hamstring myself like I did with Alan Wake 2. This was torture for me, by the way. You have no idea. You might have some idea with how excited I was while playing it. I wanted to play this game in its entirety from the second it came out, in the middle of October, for crying out loud. And I waited. I waited so that I could stream it blind. Someone being Samuel Clemens up there? Stop it! Knock it off up there! It's the Bookers. Oh, it's a deer. I feel like every stream trophy should end with a, with a... with a big hairy man's butt. You're welcome. You're welcome for my sacrifice. Uh, also, a little bit of uh, extra news that you may find interesting or, or fun. Um, as we've just beaten Alan Wake 2, I've also gotten the Platinum for it. And that's my 300th Platinum. So now I have uh, officially completed 300 games. I'm going to start a charity. If you could donate $600,000 to it, that would be great. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this means that if I do decide to do a final draft playthrough, we're going to have to watch this a third time. If I donated you money, you'd strangle yourself. Also true. There really is no winning with me. Next stream is Donkey Kong Country 2. So I've learned that you should probably not walk into the cultists. Congrats on the big PP Platinum. Thank you. That also means I can beat Clash Artifacts of Chaos. It's a domino effect. Shut up! Oh, come on, man. You don't gotta be that guy. I'm, I'm just here to camp. I'm just here to camp! Damn it, Ilmo. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna allow any other uh, dialogue. 
They fear the enabled PG more than they fear Scratch. Ow! What's the number including the old Xbox days? That's a question. Probably close to about 500, maybe. Do this to me when it's my time to pass on. Just with just pee pee out. T posed on a park bench table thing, picnic table. That's how you want me to go? <laughs> As Hemingway said, I wonder how this game tastes. Or this gun tastes, my bad. I wonder how this game tastes. I know how Guilty Gear Strive smells. It's what I deserve. Rude. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, it smells like game. Meow. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I think that's fine. I, I, I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see. Now that we've seen, I feel confident in meow, 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 meow. So uh, we beat Alan Wake 2. That's great. Nice and fresh. You know, we don't... Uh, Midstream game switches make me kind of nervous. So I'm glad that we, uh, we got it all in there, meow. And uh, yeah, so the next game is going to be uh, 12 minutes. And uh, I'm so glad that we, we managed to, uh, to muddle through Alan Wake 2 after all. You know, it, it was it was a team effort. We really pulled together, uh, hands interlocked, Red Rover. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of that. Uh, super jazzed about this game. I am probably gonna play it like one or two or three more times <laughs> before before this, the DLC even comes out. But uh, you know, it is what it is. As a famous completionist once said before me, it is what it is. And because it is what it is, it is what it is. So, thank you so much for joining me uh, on Alan Wake Two. For these last few months, I look forward to uh, to jumping into some more video game experiences. You still don't get it? Yeah, no, me neither. I was hoping that the whole door thing would kind of lead somewhere. They just tacked it on at the end. I thought we were going to have a, a Warland Door final boss, but it doesn't seem like it. You look forward to my essay when I finish? Oh, there will be one. I, I will have thoughts. I'll, I'll probably need to uh, start a wiki page just to get all of them together. <laughs> door, what is this, My Hero Academia? Look over there, a door. Maybe door is setting up the DLC. I suppose that's probably the case. And I could, ne I've never been more certain that Warland Door is Martin Hatch from uh, from Quantum Break. So, you know, if you guys want uh, to do a little bit of homework between now and uh, whenever the DLC comes out, if you have an Xbox One, play Quantum Break. It's on Game Pass. If you don't, watch a playthrough, watch a Let's Play. You know, it, it, it's an interesting game. And uh, it'll give you even more context into this uh, steadily gelatinizing remedy verse. So thank you everyone for coming to the stream. I appreciate everyone who showed up. I appreciate everyone who stayed even more. If you like me, please follow me. Pale underscore Voyager on Twitter slash X. Uh, Pale Voyager on uh, YouTube if you want to watch VODs and clips. And join the Discord if you're not already part of the community. Although I, I, I assume and surmise everyone is. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for, for doing it with me, you know? I didn't, uh, I didn't have to do the scary all by myself. Uh, as I said, the next game is going to be 12 minutes, which will likely happen on, uh, on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Mountain, 9 p.m. Eastern. So until then, please take the sweetest care of yourselves. I'm not joking. Do it. I'll try to do the same, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm so excited. This was so cool. I'm, I'm very happy to be alive in this timeline. Who can I raid? I'm going to fling it on over to Big Dude, playing Beyond the Evil. I've never even heard of that, so hopefully he'll be able to tell me what that's all about. Back to Hoyoverse for me. For me, it's right back into Alan Wake. I'm going to uh, beat it on my private playthrough. I'd like, I'd like the final draft to be based on that one, where I got all the collectibles. That would be, uh, that would be ideal. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for uh, for sticking around the extra hour. Uh, I'm really glad that we have what we have, you know, uh, as far as community and uh, 
and uh, attentiveness to the content goes. It, 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 it fills me with pride. I'm swollen, practically glistening with, uh, with contentedness. So uh, I'm going to kick it on over to Big Dude. Have yourselves a great Sunday. Thank you once again. Take care. That's it. Stream's over. Everybody out. Pregnant. Pregunte.